What's going on, Chino Be Faction? My name is Joshua Williamson. So, Stuff I Hate, episode 29. Now, for those of you who don't know who, who are new to my channel, because some of you are first time comers from my live streams, uh, this is a series on where I talk about pet peeves that I have. You know, things that irritate me throughout the day in my daily life. It's, it's that, okay? It's that simple to explain. But, anyways, let's get on to the first one. And it's people who park in reserve parking spots in parking lots without permits. Most prime example, handicap spots. There are people that park in handicap spots at stores or restaurants or whatever without permits. Let me tell you something. It's reserved for handicaps for a reason, okay? If I, if I don't see a permit in your car, that tells me that you're just wrongfully parking there because you're too lazy to walk, okay? What if someone who was in a wheelchair had to park there? Someone who had any other sort of invisible disability, like, you know, a heart condition, or... You get the idea. Any sort of condition that makes them having to park in a certain parking spot, you know, closer to the door, because, because it's for physical reasons. Lucy, you just knocked my gosh dang phone off. Sorry about that. Anyways, uh, where was I? I kind of lost my train of thought. I lost where I was. Oh, yeah. Or another example is, you know, I actually saw this one time when I, when I was trying to park in the parking lot at Walmart. And this couple parked in a reserved spot for law enforcement. I never got to see any aftermath, but I really hope they were caught, okay? I hope they were caught parking in the law enforcement reserve parking spot, because that's... How lazy are you? How lazy are you to where you need to risk your car getting towed just because you don't want to walk? How, how agonizing is it for you to walk? I swear to God... People like that just astound me with how lazy they are. They they really do. Alright, but anyways, this next one has to do with a parking lot, okay? I almost got ran over by a car. I almost got ran over, actually it was a truck. I almost got ran over by a truck while I still worked at a grocery store. If you guys don't know, I used to work at a grocery store for two years and I ended up quitting a few months ago. But when I was, you know, on parking lot duty, getting shopping carts from the corrals and putting them back in the store, I was going down to one of the corrals and I almost got ran over by a truck. And this brings me to the next one. People who, who drive in the opposite direction of where the arrow was pointing down a parking lane. Listen, there are arrows on the ground for the parking lots, for the parking lanes, for a reason, okay? There, of course, there are, there are those particular parking lanes where you can go both directions, but this wasn't one of them. See, the arrow was pointing this way, okay? It was pointing down that way, but the truck came down this way, the opposite direction. That was... The, Okay, it was a it was a one way only parking lane, and this idiot almost hits me with this truck because he didn't want to obey the parking lot directions. And I almost actually got I I almost I almost head on collided with some other cars because they made that stupid decision when I was trying to look for a parking space. In, at any other place, like a grocery store, you know, you get the idea. A warehouse store, you, you, you understand what I mean. Obey the arrows on the ground, okay? If it says you only go one direction, do not go the opposite of that. I Are people stupid or do they just hate the law? They want, they, they just want to cause some sort of scene. I don't understand. Lucy, get out of my way. All right. <clears throat> but anyways, the next one. I get really irritated 
When I'm watching a movie or a show with a friend or anyone else, a family member, and throughout the movie or the show, they keep quoting the character as they're saying the quote from the show or the movie. Listen, I understand that you that you may really like that movie or show and you have a and that's one of your favorite quotes, but for God's sakes, just watch it. <clears throat> you know, there's actually you know, for for example, the show SpongeBob SquarePants, okay? I enjoy that cartoon, okay? It's it's one of my favorite cartoons. But for but I found myself disliking it a little bit. Well, not disliking it, but liking it less because of a bunch of kids throughout my school life that keep saying quotes from the show over and over and over and over and over again. And while they're watching the show, they 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 quote the characters as they're saying the quotes. Just watch it. Just watch it. Quit quoting them all the time. <clears throat> I don't know why people do that, okay? It it's one of the reasons why I disliked middle school and high school so much because kids around me would would keep taking quotes from SpongeBob and quoting them all the time. They kept saying them all the time to be funny. It irritates me. Just enjoy the show while you're watching it. Quit quoting it while the characters are saying it on the movie or show and quit quoting it in real life constantly. Jesus. Alright, but anyways. Next one. When... See, this is one of the reasons why I don't really eat at restaurants that much. You know... And it's not usually, you know, there there are some issues I have with, you know, portions and stuff at restaurants sometimes. Like, I've talked about some, some of those things before. I'm not going to go over them again. Uh, <clears throat> but this has to do with when you're eating with other people at the restaurant. When I order... You know, a dish from a restaurant that comes with two sides, okay? There's two sides that come with the meal. <clears throat> now, usually, the restaurants that I would go to are whenever I'm on trips with my family, okay? And sometimes we go to a place that has, like, you know, steaks or chicken breasts or fish. You get the idea. <clears throat> I order maybe a chicken breast or a steak from a restaurant and they ask me what my two si what I want for my two sides and usually both of my sides are potato based i i get mashed i get both mashed potatoes and french fries or any other potato that sounds good over there to me and people and people at the table treat me like I'm some sort of psycho because both of my sides are potato based or they do it to other people. Listen. I usually, at restaurants, most of the sides over there that are not potato-based to me don't really sound all that good to me, okay? That's the reason why I get both sides potato, okay? Like I said, just different variations of it. People treat me like I'm crazy for not... Getting a, a completely different side that is a potato based. You know, for example, what like like there's a uh, some sort of steamed vegetable. Let see, for me, steamed vegetables to me don't really taste all that good. I prefer to roast them. Okay, they're way better roasted in my opinion. Boiled or steamed vegetables like that, I don't I don't like them. And I don't like salads either. I don't like eating my vegetables raw all that much. I prefer to cook my vegetables. Like I said, I prefer to roast them overall. Let me have whatever sides I want. And quit bashing other people that do the same thing. That does not make them psycho. I swear to God. I don't know why people do that. 
I don't know why people act like it's such a big deal when whenever you get two sides at a restaurant and they're both based from the same product. <laughs> why is it such a big deal to them? Anyways, next one. Uh, mobile game advertisements in general. I hate mobile game advertisements with a dying passion. You want to know why? Because in the advertisements, the per the person that's playing the game, you know, for the demo that it's showing in the advertisements, you know, it doesn't show them playing. It shows, you know, the testers. Uh, it's the testers showing off the gameplay. They play like they have never played a mobile game in their life before. They suck so bad. They they make all of the wrong decisions in the mobile game. Just I feel like they do that on purpose, okay? I feel like they do that on purpose just to show, you know, how how crappily you would, you would end up playing the game, I guess, but it's still aggravating to watch. Dear mobile game advertisers, please for the love of Christ, Show off gameplay where the person that's playing it doesn't suck. It makes me go and download these games. You know, and and that's another thing. Usually, when, when it shows these games advertising, they usually end up being games that are completely different from the game that, that, that it showed the demo for. It shows way more, and that was just only a small tidbit of it that you could only play until you get so far into the game. <sighs> Please, for the love of God, show off all of what your mobile game has to offer, first of all. And second of all, when, it, when you're showing the demo, make sure the person that's showing the demo, the person that's playing the demo, doesn't suck at it. Ugh. Anyways, this is the last one. Number six. People who talk on speakerphone in public. They have a phone call with someone on speakerphone in public, and I have to listen to their conversation. You are not that important, okay? You are not that important. Take the phone off speaker and put it up to your ear. I don't want to hear your entire conversation. And then, when, whenever you... This irritates me even more. Whenever you point that out to them, you know... They, if they hear what you say and they try to correct you... And... They if they still they're still on speakerphone. They refuse to take it off. And they get and they get irritated at you and they and they tell you that they're having a private conversation. If you're having a private conversation, take the phone off a of speaker. What if if you want to keep your conversation so private, why are you talking on speakerphone? Why? I don't understand it. And, like I said, I don't want to hear your conversation with that person to begin with. Especially if I've never seen you before. And, I, I and you know, maybe I'm stuck in line at, you know, a checkout at a grocery store. Or a, or a restaurant where I'm about to order something. Like a fast food place. Please, for the love of God, if you want your conversation to be private, take it off speakerphone and put the phone up to your ear. Alright, well anyways, that's been the Stuff I Hate episode 29. Post jumps down below, let me your opinions on this. If you like to see your thumb up, please see your thumb down. On social media, my package channel will be down in the description box. And be sure to click, be sure to click subscribe and become a member of the JW Faction on the cherry 10,000 subscribers. See you later.